What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming Tom Sachs Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe in this dark sulfur colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Soul Savvy. Soul Savvy is a membership based community of like minded passionate sneakerheads with a true love for shoes. And as a member of Soul Savvy, they give you the tools, the information and the resources you need to be able to buy the shoes that you want for retail. So I've been a member of Soul Savvy for years now, pretty much since they started. And the thing I love most about being a member is that it gives me that one stop shop so I know exactly what's releasing, where and when. And as a member, they give you a bunch of tools such as add to cart links, sneaker website monitors, training sessions for big sneaker releases, along with a member only store where they sell shoes only for retail. And recently they introduced an app called Soul Savvy Collect. And this is an online sneaker marketplace where you can buy, sell and trade your sneakers and everyone that has access to Collect has been individually vetted and they're all members of Soul Savvy so you know that anyone you're dealing with is going to be legit. So if you guys want to learn more about Soul Savvy and potentially become a member, I'll add a link down below for you guys to check out and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this in my hand is the second colorway of the general purpose shoe in a joint collaboration between Nike and artist Tom Sachs. So this is the follow up colorway to the light cream colorway that dropped a few months back. And whereas that one was exclusive to Tom Sachs website, this pair in comparison is much more widely available. So these are releasing on September 2nd for a price of 110 US dollars or 145 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe is dark sulfur, white and light cream. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. And as you can see, this comes in that same orange based cardboard box. We have Nike craft branding on the top. On the bottom of the box, it says own less, do more. And then on the side of the lid, we have the name of the shoe, general purpose shoe, along with Tom Sachs. So diving into the details of this silhouette, the upper of the shoe, for the most part, this is constructed out of a yellow colored knit. According to their website, this knit is wound tight enough that it makes it somewhat water resistant, but at the same time, it's open enough that it makes it a breathable sneaker. Overlaid on top of this, we have this additional yellow overlay, which gives you added durability but from what I noticed for the light cream colorway that I've been wearing for months now, it starts to crack even after a couple of wears. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this dark yellow colored suede, and this suede covers the middle of the shoe where the eyelets are. Beneath this, on the mid panel, we have more of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box, and we have a large white colored Nike swoosh overlaid on either side. Moving downwards, you can see more of that yellow colored suede, this wraps around both the bottom and the top of the heel. And at the very top, we have Nike branding debossed in black. And above this, we have this bright orange colored pull tab, which helps you get your foot into the shoe with ease. Turning our attention back to the front. So for the laces, these come with a sail or off-white colored lace, which has its ribbed finish to it. Underneath this, we have a mesh tongue, but there is a thin layer of foam within it, which gives you a small layer of additional comfort. At the very top, we have this Nike tag, and sliding through the tag, we have another orange colored pull tab, just like the one that we saw earlier on the heel. So the interior of the shoe is lined in this sail colored microfiber textile, and you can see on the interior of the back heel, we have an additional layer of foam padding. As for the insoles, so these come with your standard foam line insole. It's covered in a yellow colored mesh on top, and we have Nike craft branding stamped on the heel. And if you take out the insole, you'll see that full length EVA foam core, which is where the majority of the comfort of the shoe comes from, and this is embedded within the midsole itself. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is painted in this cream color. Just like I mentioned earlier, in case within this midsole, we have this full length EVA foam, and you can see that the midsole itself has a very faint textured finish to it. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is almost trail inspired. This is entirely constructed out of a black colored rubber. We have a very pronounced waffle style traction pattern and on the heel we have Nike craft branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, so in my initial review of the light cream colorway, I told you guys to stick true to size, but after wearing that shoe for a couple of months now, I want to revise my recommendation. And I'd say that if you have narrow, normal or slightly wide feet, go a half size down from your true size. But if you have wider feet, you'd probably be better off sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side and the shoe is labeled in women's sizing. So normally a size 10 men's would be an 11 and a half women's, but ideally the women's size 11 fits me better. So assuming you don't have really, really wide feet, let's just say for example, you're a men's size eight and a half, then I'd say go half size down, which is a men's size eight. And the equivalent to that in women's sizing would be a nine and a half. 
but your mileage may vary if you prefer more of a roomy fit and you don't mind extra room from a length perspective, then you might be fine sticking true to size as well, but this is based entirely on my experience. Next up in terms of the comfort, so again, I kind of want to revise what I said in that previous review. So in that video, I think I mentioned that the comfort was okay, but it wasn't that good. But after wearing that light cream colorway for weeks and weeks now, they definitely break in over time and I gotta say they're actually quite comfortable. So with that said, this shoe incorporates that full length EVA foam. And yes, straight out of the box, it wasn't the most comfortable shoe out there, but it almost feels like that foam layer molds to your feet the more you wear them. And after a while, it just becomes much more comfortable. So I'd say have some patience, give it some time, give it some wear, and they'll feel much more comfortable over time. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship. So first off, material quality, I thought it was decent. I'd say that this is a step above average Nike quality, but I wouldn't say that it's the best quality materials I've seen or even close to the best I've seen on a Nike release. However, for the price point you're paying, which is 110 USD or 145 Canadian, this is an absolute steal. And I'm glad to say that they're actually giving us genuine suede instead of a very synthetic material that they could have done for that same price point. And from an overall build and craftsmanship standpoint, so again, just like that light cream colorway, the craftsmanship wasn't the best on this pair. There were some blemishes on the suede, there were some stains on the midsole itself, but nothing that was a real deal breaker. It's just small little things that were a little bit annoying, but kind of expected given the price point. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Between this one and that initial light cream colorway, I definitely prefer the look of that colorway, but this one is still very clean in its own way. Obviously with this bold yellow, it's a much more eye-catching pair, whereas that one is much more versatile and much more subdued. So if you want a shoe that's a bit more flashy and much more of a statement piece, and if you don't want to pay the resale prices of that initial colorway, then this one could be a very solid addition to your collection. But totally understandable if you're not a fan of this silhouette. At the end of the day, this is a very basic looking sneaker. And I'm obviously not going to deny the fact that a large chunk of the popularity behind this shoe comes from the fact that this is a Nike Craft Tom Sachs release. The sneaker game is what it is. That's kind of the reality in today's landscape. So to me, I don't really care what's the reason behind why you like a shoe. Maybe it's because it's limited. Maybe it's because it's a collaboration. Or maybe you just genuinely like the design. You do you. You do what you want. It's absolutely your money. So drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think of this Dark Sulfur general purpose shoe. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway of this shoe specifically? And what are your thoughts on the silhouette? Are you a fan of this model? Is it too basic? Do you think it's ugly? Either way, regardless of what side of the coin you're on, leave a comment down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. Good luck to anyone hoping to grab these on September 2nd and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.